Okay, so here's my animation that I've made so far. Uh, I'm trying to make a little kind of a run walk. And I want to show you how amazing um, in-betweens are. Okay, so if you're not aware, so this is my, I'll just show you my frames. I just took the time to pose the character as I know walking should be posed. By the way, I'm using the comma and period keys on my keyboard to go one frame at a time. And basically your character steps, it's really important to have this spot where your foot lands because when you walk or run, you're, there's always one foot usually that's planted. So I try to make sure that foot stays planted. Um, and then I push forward and he's kind of in the air for a second. Now this is the planted foot. See that? Now that foot is planted and it stays. In fact, I'm going to make sure it stays right there until he gets in the air, okay? And um, that's going to make my run look way more real. And then that one's in the spot. I'm going to make sure it stays right there. Okay. But you'll see that my legs are crisscrossing. So there's, there's this kind of crisscross that happens. The leg comes up. And then it crosses over. Undo that. I mean, his body didn't really move much that time. I'm going to make his body move forward more. That didn't feel very like a very good move. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Um, and I'm just going to make sure those poses are OK. Now, when I play this back at one frame per second, it looks it looks OK. But watch. Watch what I'm about to do. I'm going to click on the first frame, hold shift, or you can right click on the last frame and say multi select, and it will multi select all your frames. And then I'm going to set in betweens. I'm going to set this to, I'm going to set five in betweens. I'm going to be generous here. And I'm going to just uh, click add frame. It's going to say, do you want to set all selected frames to this in between value? Why, yes, I do. Thanks for asking. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to add between every frame, it's going to add five micro animations to connect between the two frames. Now watch what it looks like. Now it's going to be in slow motion. I'm going to speed it up and I want you to see how much smoother this looks. Now there is definitely some problems with my animation, but you can see that the animation is cleaner than when I have no in between. So now I'll go back and I'll set zero in between. So you can just see again, here's what it looked like without the in betweens. And let me just set that up and hit enter and add frame. Yes. Now let's watch it back at this speed. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, you know, and you can play with the number of in betweens. Like, let's say I put like, I don't know, 15 in betweens. I think that's going to be too many, but whatever. Let's just, let's see what that looks like. Play. It's going to look really slow, but look how much smoother it is. It's so cool. Now, if, if you made a mistake, like you could see my arms sort of did this scissoring thing here where they kind of didn't cross right there. It's probably because I made a mistake. So I'm going to go look at that. Let me just take a look. Forgot to move the arm correctly or whatever. Let's see which arm this is. Um, uh, and you can actually click on a piece and see it says segment angle bend length. Um, and I'm going to keep going here. I think, what did I do? Uh, anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. That's just to show you that if you do good poses, you pose your character in good positions that are natural, it's going to move and it's going to just, it's going to connect them. It just, it's awesome. You've got to try in betweens. Um, this is good for all kinds of things. You will notice there are some glitches. It, it really is important that you have lots of good placing placement of your, your person or your character. Um, so for example, I'm going to do another thing here at the end. I'm going to just going to have my character go right here and I'm going to have him flip. Okay. Um, and by changing these poses, every couple, not, I don't want to move anything too crazy, but I do want to move things. Um, I'm holding Control and Alt to rotate. And I'm always going to move his body. And I think this is going to actually look pretty cool. Now, if you too, if you rotate it too much, it's not going to um, it's not going to work. 
I'm going to rotate a little more. I'm going to have them land. I'm kind of curious to see how this looks. We'll, we'll see. Play. I have a feeling the end of that is going to be weird, but let's see what, see what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I don't have any in-between. So there's no in-between set for that. So let's set the in-betweens for the new section that I did. See, it's on uh, zero. You can see the number right here. You can also grab this little green bar, and you can just drag it up. See that? So you can actually manually do it. But I like selecting multiple frames and doing it all at once. Um, I'm going to set it to 15 like I was doing with the other one. Add frame, say yes. And now I'm going to hit play from here and just see what the uh, the jump looks like. Play. <laughs> it's not great because the poses weren't very good. Like the poses weren't very realistic. Like I might have tucked them in more. But the the smoothness of the animation is incredible. And um, something that if you're an animator, you can take advantage of. I animate, but I don't know if I'd call myself an animator. Um, but I know for some of you who are, are really, really good, who haven't used this feature, in betweening is just tweening is awesome. So have fun with it. See what you can do. Maybe get some really smooth looking moves. Play with the number of in betweens. Play with how how many there are. Like I can just you can just grab those and like change it so that it's not uh, not as many. So things move a little faster or slower. You can do like a slowdown um, if you want at some point. I'm just gonna keep grabbing those and there we go. All right, have fun. Maybe if I can find the stop button. Where is the stop button for this recording? Uh, stop.